peace of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord bless you and keep you really happy, joyful, healthy. And the Lord allow him for you to share the kingdom of heaven and his riches in Jesus' name. Nice to be here with you again. Um, we're going to continue now again to, uh, to one more tip, one more uh, uh, bit to encourage you to still you out to find out even more about this subject and, uh, and that we have been uh, uh, speaking for long, which is how to get closer to God. And last week we were, we were enlightening that we are approaching the last days. That everything that's happened in wars and all these things happen in the world is showing to us the pain of birth. So that means that we are approaching the last days and at any time soon anything could happen so we must be ready. And for these things today we, we bring in how to develop the habit of morning prayer. How to develop a habit of morning prayer. For I know that many of us uh, is, uh, we don't have this habit and we don't pray in the morning. It's hard for us to do it. But also many of us we have a habit already of praying in the morning and we know how to deal with it and that brings to us close to God and bring to us to have a good relationship with Him and we, 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 we live in a freedom in, in the Lord Jesus, the freedom that the Lord has promised to us. Now, but now I bring it to you uh, 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 four points. One of, uh, one of them uh, uh, is, is thinking about it. The second point is walking up in bed uh, waking up and stay in bed and the third one is sitting on the bed and the fourth one is getting out of bed to pray in the morning we're going to see we're gonna, let me see if we can impact this quickly here and we're going to keep going now now the first one is is for this so all this all this is for how to develop a habit of prayer in the morning the first one is thinking about it when you think about it then you will get something. When you think about it, you will get somewhere. But you have to think of that. You have to really uh, put in practice this. You got to, you got to really uh, 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 desire, desire, bring that desire into you. When you bring this desire into you, you're thinking on it, then you will get what you really desire. So thinking. Well, uh, uh, and when, when, when we're thinking something, we end in doing it. When we think in something, we end, we end in practicing. Um, in the book of James, chapter 1, I think verse 15, says this, When the thoughts come to you, and those thoughts, if they are sin, if they are wicked thoughts, it will bring sin. It will give birth to these things. So whatever you put in your, in your mind, that will bring a result. It will, bring, it will start with something. It give, it, it, it give bear to those things, whether it's a good or bad. So in this way, uh, the, the advice is for you to think. Think, I want to wake up in the morning. I want to wake up in the morning. I want to pray in the morning. Then you go in bed thinking on that. Then when you go in bed in the morning, you just feel like, okay, you just uh, tired when you, you, you might wake up yourself and you just uh, can't go out of bed and you go back to sleep again. Don't do that. Just think. And encourage yourself even for the less. So the second, and then, then you can in play the second, the second uh, step, which is waking up. You wake them up in bed. Or you don't go out. So you waking up in bed, stay there. No worries. Just start to pray. Lie down there under your blanket. Pray. Pray. Just start praying there. Why? Because if you don't have this courage if you don't have the courage to go out to the bed, all you need to do is just stay there. Walk up, and if you don't have that courage to get out of bed, just pray right there. Pray right there and ask for help. Pray right there and ask for help. And stay there. On, and the, ask Holy Spirit in Jesus' name, help me. Help me and pray. And tell Him what you want. Tell Him everything you want. Tell him that you want to go out, but you, you can't get out. But you just want the Lord to help you, to heal you, to to bless anyone. Just make your prayer there. Bring your request. Think in there. Why? Because Psalm 4.4, 4, he says that it's right to meditate in bed. 
Let me see what, what Psalm 4 4 says here. I'm going to read Psalm 4 4 uh, and, and let's see how, what, what, what Psalm chapter uh, uh, 4 and um, verse 4 says to us. Let me have a read here. Um, we're going to read together. So read that. Psalm 4 4 says this Don't sing by letting anger gain control over you. Think about it overnight and remain silent in bed. So, we have to think that. We talk, but we don't really remain in that sin, but we have to think in bed. Even though it's in bed, just those people, with, the Bible says that uh, 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 over these days, even in bed, we're going to be thinking and meditating in the Lord. So if you don't have the capacity to go out, just do it. So do whatever level you are, and but don't stay without doing anything. That, 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 that is... The, sec- the, the, the second step, stay in bed and stay thinking of that. Let's, that, that uh, when, 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 you, when you get used to just woke up and stay in bed under the blankets, praying, 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 just get used to that. After praying for many days, weeks, probably months, one good day you're going to start, start to get strong and strong. You don't know. You don't know. Just that thing will grow within you and you don't even see it, but you start eventually start to feel it. And one good day you will have the capacity, the strength to sit on the bed you will find yourself sitting on the bed one good day and praying so you pray sitting on bed so yeah I see that when you start to sit on your bed say, believe me after a short time you will be sitting on the edge of your bed because you will have built up in you and you will have a continuous growth through the days weeks months and years you will. Why? Because it's a promise. But let me, let me read here the book of Job. I'm going to read the book of Job, chapter uh, uh, 8 5. Uh, let me see, where is the Job? I'm going to find here Job 8 5. Well, let, me, let me read this uh, uh, and you will see, and you will see what, has said, uh, what says the book of Job. Job, chapter 8, verse, verse 5. And it says this. You read this. Let me see. Uh, chapter 8, verse 5. Now, let, let, let me read, and, and, and you will see what it says here. Um, a five. But if you pray to God and seek the favor of the Almighty, if in the morning, early in the morning, if you are pure and live with a complete integrity, He will rise up and restore your happy home. You see that? So he actually also sleep when you when you're in bed. He just he, he says if you wake up and you pray to him early in the morning, he also wake up for you. He will do because you are he he, he hear you pray now and say this and so and and so you start with little, you will end with much. So. It's not just that you're gonna wake up and pray. If you are, if you, if you are having, if you're having a bad goal, you know, a really hard times. You have a, you have a, a healthy problems, a health problems. You have financial problems, family issues. All these things will start to sort it out. But you have to start praying in the morning, even though if you start in the blank under the blankets, but pray because prayer in the morning is more powerful. It's not that you cannot pray in the baths, on the toilets, on the road, when you're walking, when you're walking. You can pray anytime, anywhere. But we're talking about the, the top prayer, the top time to pray. It's, a, it's, it's when you do it in private, with, when you really spend time with the Lord in your own. No one is taking your attention. That is what we're talking about here. No, you can pray anywhere, anywhere, but we're talking about the top prayer. We're talking about how you're going to develop a habit to pray in the morning. Why in the morning? Because it's the top prayer. Why? Because this will bring you into relationship with Him. That will bring Him to, close to you. Because this will send it to us into the fourth step. Getting out of bed. Because when you become strong enough, you will start to go out of bed. I want to read here the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 17. Let me see. Chapter 8, verse 17 says this. It says, I love all who love me. Those who search me in the morning will f- surely find me. 
So those who search me early in the morning, surely will find me. Why? Because I love those who love me. That's what is, is written here. So the Lord is telling you that if you show Him, if you show Him that you really want to get close to Him, you are actually showing Him that you love Him. So that is when you are just out of bed, when you are sitting in the bed or you wake or waking up under the blanket, but you pray, you showing Him that you really want it. So when you show Him that you really want it, He will start to release in you the anointing, the capacity, the authority to do and to end wherever, when, where you want to be ended, which is waking up, having a relationship, uh, talking to Him and normal in the morning. And to encourage you more, you can look at this written in the book of John chapter 14, verse 21. John 14, 21 says this. Let me see. It says this. Let me get that here. Um, it says, um, John 14, 21 says, Those who obey my commandments are the ones who love me. So the best way for you to show love to the Lord in order for Him to respond to you is to love His commandments, is to apply His commandments, is to look and seek justice. He said this, And because they love me, my Father will love them, and I will love them, and I will reveal myself to each one of them. So actually, you and me, we must show Him first that we love Him. How? Practicing what He written to us, what He teach us. What he just given to us. And let me see. In the book of uh, uh, in Saint Charles, uh, uh, fourteen twenty three, say this. Jesus replies, "All those who love me will do what I say, and my Father will love them, and will and we will come to them and live with them." So actually, what happened in the in the step four when you reach that step? You are actually in a high plateau, in a top level. You are in a more closer relationship with Him because you actually had gained a, 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 a access to the private place. You have gained access to, to those more confidential relationships. Then you will have really God living with you and you start to feel that He vibrated in you. You feel vibration of the Lord within your life, within your heart, within your mind. And this vibration will represent uh, 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 the bless that you will see uh, along the way with your business, with your health, with your relationship at home, with your family issues. With everything that surrounds you, it's going to start to be controlled by this. Then you will see these things and you will encourage yourself to get closer to Him. What? To uh, How? Sorry. How develop it, developing a habit of morning prayer. Why? Because this top prayer will bring you top results. So now, if you, if you know what I'm talking about, you have not yet get that, just keep practicing. Don't think, don't think to wake up and step forward if you can, if you, have, if you haven't done that, don't, just don't go there. Start it from the beginning. Remember, think about that. Then you just keep going. Keep going, pray under your blanket. No worries. Stay there until you, until you get the, the capacity to go out. And then from there you are one the day just sit in the bed. If you sit in, if you sit down on the bed, stay there too. Until the day just when eventually you grow enough and have the authority to stand up and go pray in the living room or somewhere else. But don't discourage yourself. And then if you don't if you don't know even if you don't even if you don't even know the Lord Jesus, now is the time. I tell you it's easy. You have to, you can tell him, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died in the cross for me and I proclaim you right now. Right here as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for forgiving my sins and to deliver me and to write my name in the book of life. From now on, you, my Lord and King. Just go out there and start with a relationship with Him and then keep going again with the four steps to develop the habit of prayer. For now, the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, and I see you next time. Bye bye.